I want to ask you three quick questions about some things I've been dying to know about. So the first question is, 2019, you entered the Cervon International Jazz Vocal Competition, first competition you ever entered, and won for your outstanding performance. Who are the singers that influenced you the most and why? I would say, um, at least at that time, the singers that influenced me the most were Sarah Vaughn and Betty Carter um, and Ella Fitzgerald. I feel like at that time, I was still honestly becoming immersed in the, in the music, and so I didn't really have any sort of frame of reference on what it sounded like. And so they were my guides on not only how to uh, how to sing jazz, but how to how to make it my own and um, what is possible uh, with using using your voice. I was like, oh, I didn't know that was possible. Now I, you know, have a new, I guess, uh, a goal or a, a new thing, a new challenge, a new way to kind of express myself with my voice. OK, my second question is your family has such a rich history in music from I know the Save Ed's to Sunday's Best, which I watched growing up. And you were the Grammy stage as of last year. It seems like you're leading the next kind of generation for musical success in your family. What does that mean to be a McClendon and to represent your family? It's so funny that you asked that because I was listening to my Savets, my grandparents, last night, and it just reminded me all over again how special it is to have a family devoted to music for so long. When I was growing up, I didn't even think about how special it was. It's like, okay, everybody, we always, I hope, I think every family sings at, at Christmas and Thanksgiving together, but it really is, it's an honor for me. It's an honor to put them on display um, by doing our family tours and, and singing together and recording together and kind of using this platform, not only as a way to kind of build up my own creative, cre creative voice and artistic, you know, path, um, but to also pay uh, homage and honor um, to the people who got me to loving music and got me to, you know, uh, really expressing my voice in the first place. I'm really looking forward to the Christmas performance, too. My last and final question is 2021, you released your debut album, Samara Joy, um, and now it's 2024 and you released your third brand new album, Portrait. What does this album mean for you and what does it represent at this point in your career? I would say that it is um, probably the most accurate uh, depiction of where I am as an artist right now and what my purpose is and what my goals are. Um, I think when you hear, at least when I hear the first album, I can hear the immaturity in some ways. I can hear the green. I can hear the na naive nature, I guess, that I had because I was so new to the business and to the recording studio and to, you know, sequencing albums and doing all that kind of stuff. But now with four years of touring under my belt, I feel like um, not only have I learned more about myself, but about what my vision is musically. And that is a collaboration. It's being able to experience experiment and and kind of be be a true artist because I feel like also there was a little bit of pressure I guess after you know the Grammys and and all this attention it's like okay now you can do anything you want what are you going to choose what path are you going to go down and I'm glad I kind of I want to call it going down the path of truth and being true to myself being authentic um, and I hope that people hear and feel that truth on portrait. I'm a big fan of the album too. Thank you so much for your time and for giving me the opportunity to learn from you. It's Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Pleasure to meet you. Wave Bender's music all day. There it is. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs>